Hello to all traders and welcome to another edition of Market in Waves on this Wednesday the 14th of July. So we're heading into the middle of the week which is also a good sign because you know you have a lot of the market noise from the weekend kind of blowing over and then we have the new market uh, headlines let's say uh, coming to fruition in the middle of the week. So you know we've got um, oil and gold to look at today. Oil capping off that seven year high last week that we saw as it pushed over uh, $75, $76 sorry and um, now we're just waiting to see what's happening with the EIA data that's coming out later today. Uh, we had API data yesterday um, which was a week in an expected draw on inventories um, and as I said now we wait to see if we can push up and test that 75 region again. We are pretty close but um, we'll see if it comes into fruition anytime soon. So, you know, we've got this, um, we finished this ending diagonal here and now we are looking at a move in this ABC pattern to finish intermediate wave two. So intermediate wave one is likely done now and uh, we're just looking for this, uh, this correction looks impulsive to me. So we're just looking at the downside. You know, we've done a 38.2% of the um, retracement. A leg is done. B leg probably looks like it's done up here and now we're expecting the move to the downside, as I said, to complete uh, C of two and then naturally move up into intermediate wave three. Looking most probably at the 61.8% region here as we go into the trading week. Um, so I'll be basically looking for a move to the downside after that. Uh, as I say, we've got the EIA data as well coming out shortly. Let's just check. I was looking on the, any divergences. Um, there is this slight one here. I'll just point it out for you. Which could bring price, which could bring potentially bring prices lower. And then we've got one here on the MACD as well, which is quite significant. So as I said, expecting now a move down, it looks like B has probably finished a little bit further than what I expected. And now we're having a move to the downside uh, to finish that C leg as well. So just look out for that. And let's just take a look on gold as well. So let's take the MACDs and everything off first of all. So gold, you know, we had this kind of a false touch here because commodities are very difficult, you know, when, when they're piercing out of the channel. And the main thing was we re-entered this channel and then we've broken out of the channel now. So again, very, very significant. So as I said, yeah, broken out of the channel moving higher now. So I'm looking at a multi-structural five minute wave to the upside to complete five of one. In doing so, um, you know, we're heading up to wave one now. This looks like it's possibly been done um, as a five wave internal structure in one. And now we are heading down into wave two. Uh, we're just going to see how far that falls down, looking at roughly about the 50%, maybe a little bit higher. Um, so we'll see if that comes into fruition. You know, we've had main stories probably last night with the annual inflation uh, rising up to over 5%, which was the highest since August 2008, which is quite significant. Um, you know, expecting a big rebound in the economy at the moment, but will we also have um, the testimony of the chairman of the Federal Reserve Jerome Powell who is speaking later in the American session so this could actually shake up the gold markets as well so you know will we see a bit of a climb down to this 1800 region to complete wave two and then up to wave three we'll have to wait and see uh, but these are the best signals that we can look at at the moment which are not too confirmed uh, as you can see the there's quite a sharp decline in both the MACD and RSI 
So if we get a little bit of an upturn here, roughly around this area, then naturally this will turn into a bearish divergence. But, you know, that could complete wave two or wave two could probably come a little bit further down and then three, four and five. So this is what I'll be looking at in the next few trading sessions for gold especially. So that's all from Market in Waves today. As usual, any comments or any queries that you want to share with us, then please add them to the post and we'll get back to you as soon as possible with our conclusions. So have a great trading day ahead and we'll catch up tomorrow. Bye for now.